Good morning. Now 5 a.m. is a bit excessive even for us and we do like to be up early. So if you're wondering why and where we're out now uh, around six o'clock with the dog, it's because this is the week in July 2022 when the National Weather Office forecast excessive heat uh, getting towards 40 degrees in Norfolk for the next couple of days and very hot over the next week. So we're going to start this day nice and early out with Poppy. She's loving it. It's about uh, 23 degrees already at 6 a.m. It's a beautiful, a beautiful morning. So this is the start of an interesting week for us. We've got all sorts coming up this week. We've got um, a running event, the Wibbly Wobbly Log Jog. We've got the van in for um, habitation check, fitting of solar panels, and there's a saga. We've also got the Household Cavalry Open Day, and we're going to end the week up at the Norfolk, uh, it's a Warner Show, Motom and Caravanning Club. So we've got an interesting few things to show you, so please stick with us till the end. It's stunning, watching the harvest, the colours and the smells are fantastic. And just over there, there's a motor caravanners meet in the rugby club field. The one benefit of being up so early in Norfolk is you get to see the countryside at its finest. July is harvest time. And whilst it can play havoc with hay fever, it's a wonderful place to be. The colours and smells, the life that's around the ground is um, gives up its crops and uh, exposes things that were hidden in it. So wildlife gets displaced. So you see a lot of wildlife running around. Deers, foxes, hares, rabbits, and of course birds of prey that hunt the smaller animals or voles, etc. that get displaced. But more importantly, I think it's the colours. They're just wonderful. So this is the Wibbly Wobbly Log Jog in Thetford Forest. And the briefing's okay, about to good start. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for entering the Wibbly Wobbly Log Jog this year. It's great to see you all back here. So, on your marks, set, go! The Wibbly Wobbly Log Jog is the brainchild of the Brandon Fernoppers Running Club, which Helen and I are both members of which is a trail running club in the forests. The trail for this run well is five well kilometers right. and it's quite arduous, well quite brutal in places right. and takes you through all the old bomb holes. So it's the open day for the Household Cavalry Division. Very, very excited. We're queuing. <laughs> which we're doing really well. Because we're English. <laughs> we're going to see what's happening. So we're inside on a very hot, sunshiny, busy day. Fresh troops getting briefed. Ooh, a fine looking thing. Big open field. Bloody Porsche's common as muck. That is the queue for the breakfast. It must be good breakfast. Roast pork, Cafe Express. A good day.
The Household Cavalry is made up of the three regiments of the lifeguards, the horse guards and the raw dragoons as once were, which were merged into the Blues and Royals subsequently. So now the lifeguards and the Blues and Royals are the two main facets of the Household Cavalry joined in the 1990s and are distinctive by the red coats of the lifeguards and the blue coats of the Blues and Royals. Today most of the riding was done in traditional costumes of the lifeguards which are the senior regiment in the British Army and have distinguished themselves in battle throughout ancient times reaching back to Charles I to current times in Afghanistan and Iraq. So what you got there H? Pims, chocolate, English summer drink. Served by the household cavalry. Absolutely. It doesn't get much better than that, does it really? It does not. Well, we've arrived at the Warners Norwich Motorhome and Caravan Club show. I think that's the right way around. with the mini Dyson the question is Ant what you've got to ask yourself is do you feel lucky come on punk make my day so we've walked this morning to a bit of a crisis a floor full of ants so I've been outside and sure enough there's an ant colony crawling up the electric cable through the floor into the van so Helen's inside massively going at the um, the problem from the inside with the hoover and I'm outside trying to spray the chemical down on the on the wire and stop the ants trail so so just to give you an update on the mother of all battles Helen versus the ant colony Helen is winning at the moment but it's a finely tipped uh, battle we seem to have uh, managed to have got the ants off the cable by wiping the cable with chain lube believe it or not they didn't like the I tried WD-40 but they thought that was like syrup and just drank that they thought that was wonderful just kept wading on but the chain loop from the uh, mountain bike seems to have done the job that wasn't the only crisis of the day however is in the evening we were summoned under uh, urgent circumstances to help a friend uh, who was struggling to drink the contents of his admin's ghost ship uh, keg required both H and I to don our running shoes dash over there quickly to help and support a friend in need good morning good morning day two at the show let's go I don't think my wallet can take it. <laughs> We're going anyway. This is the IH motorhome stand. Suppliers of the Trevor and Sue mobile. Good quality gear this, that's a fact. You'll struggle to find anything 
pound for pound built to the quality of these vans. They really are up there. When you look inside, it just looks like it's been built by a cabinet maker, a full professional craftsman, as opposed to a production line. Sold, sold already. Sold already. Yeah. 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 I'm pleased to say that we're not ready to buy yet, but we certainly would give these a consideration next time. That will be a few years. This we like the nails. And we've got plenty more journeys together yet. Well, that was a hot week. It was a hot week. It was a hot and busy week. They weren't, lo they weren't wrong when they said it was going to be the hottest week on record, were they? <laughs> no. 38.5 degrees it registered yes. at one point uh, yeah. in Norfolk this week. Yeah. Well, that was certainly something. Mm. We've had a level week though, haven't we? We've had a great week. We've managed to, given the temperatures, we've managed to cram quite a lot in, really. Yeah, we have. We got the uh, the charity run, the Wibbly Wobbly Lodge jog. Jog, yeah. Is, I can never say that right. <laughs> uh, if you didn't pick that up, that's part of our running club, which is the Brandon Fern Fernhoppers Hoppers Running yeah. Club. And it's uh, a club that runs off-road trail running in the forests. Mm -hmm. A uh, big shout out to uh, Suzanne from Mandarin Manx, who's doing the Couch to 5K. Yes. And, uh, well done, Suzanne. Well done, Suzanne. We really like them guys. Yeah. And uh, yeah. they're, they're sort of uh, embarking on a new chapter a in life. It's a great effort, that. Seem to be growing all the time. So yeah. if you check out their channel if, uh, if you haven't seen them. And uh, also from there to the Household Cavalry. Yes, that was a great day. Yeah, it was. Um, they're just close to us. They packed up and went within 24 hours. If yeah. you saw that clip of video, if you can imagine what it must have taken to have completely cleared that field within 24 hours, that was something else. <laughs> yeah. Pleased to say that the uh, van passed its hab check. The um, solar panels are now installed. And a new battery. And a new battery. Mm. So we're all ready to go, really. And uh, everything's cooking on gas engine service next month but mm. we're all looking good and now of course the last thing was the show yes which um in summary was just delightful really yeah. it was really nice to be back at a show we've not been to one for two or three years something like that and it's been great to be back it's a smaller intimate show but we've met some fantastic people and we've bought some really nice things well i think given how much you've bought it might be four or five years before i agree <laughs> to come back to another one i need to save up <laughs> Go on, tell them what we've bought. Yeah, we bought some bits and bobs, really, haven't we? We bought yeah. some new wind brakes and some new carpet for outside, a mm. new... Um, Transcool machine. Transcool machine, try and keep the dog uh, a bit cooler. Yeah. We've been using fans, of course, but, yeah. uh, but we thought it was a good idea. Mm -hmm. And you've been buying some uh, yes, nice I've bits and bobs? Yes, I've bought something, uh, a nice a apron from the Happy Caravanner and some bunting as well, which um, is really good quality and very well made, and it's quite quirky, which I quite like. So. She's a really nice person as well. Yeah, she was great. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll yeah. put the links below for that as well. Yeah. By the way, we're not sponsored by anybody. No. Nope. It's just, we'll just, if we find something that's good, we'll just mm. tell you about mm. it. And, and we also so. met a very interesting lady who does, um, she's done two books about dog walks from caravan sites yes. um, all over the country, England, Wales, Scotland. Um, so we bought those as well. So we're going to give we that did. a bit of a try as well, aren't we? Yeah, we did. I'll flash a copy of picture of the book up yeah. uh, in the video so you yeah. can see it. But yeah, that looked very interesting because mm. obviously when you've got a dog and you're on a motor on you you're looking for walks that you mm. can really walk off the site to. Mm. So that looks that book seems that looks to be, to be uh, designed yeah. around that. Yeah. And we met some really nice people. We did. We met um, a lot of people that uh, follow us on all the different forms of social media. And it was really, really great to meet them and to chat to them and to put uh, faces to names. Um, and I'm really sorry if we saw you and we were talking to somebody else and we never got a chance to chat to you. We're really sorry about that. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to catch yeah. up with you at some other point. Yeah. Most people were wondering whether it was okay to say hello, but we actually oh, really, do. We love it. really like to, yeah. to meet new people. So yeah. please don't, yeah. don't let that stop you. No. Uh, we, we, we're grateful for it and we're, yeah. Uh, yeah. we're humbled that people yeah. want to talk to yeah. us, actually, aren't we? And everybody knew Poppy's name. <laughs> everybody knew Poppy. Yeah. <laughs> and funny enough, everybody thought Poppy would be bigger. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. No, she's quite a small yeah. thing, really. She's a uh, small little cockapoo. She's a, cockapoos are really size wise defined on whether they, the poodle element is a mm. tiny miniature or obviously the standard's a giant yeah. one, but it's the, really the. The miniature or the toy pool that makes yeah. a difference so yeah. yeah that's good so we're going on now we're, we're going to Moving a little on. site now that we've been looking forward to going mm. to for a while mm. uh first picked it up on instagram i haven't stayed there before no. but that's more to come in the next video yeah. so martin out hello now <laughs>